At the moment, there's been a steady increase in the threats posed by unmanned aerial vehicles, or drones. The sky has turned into a battleground, with various levels of threat posed by illegal or unwanted intrusion of drones. It becomes an essential component of modern warfare and can be used to surveil and gather intelligence from enemy positions. The United States forces must then devise methods of safeguarding their assets and airspace. The U.S. Marine Corps employs an impressive anti-drone device known as the Drone Buster, a five-pound ray gun-like device that can jam drones. The gun has a three-hour endurance and continuous jamming capabilities in radio frequency detection mode. Its effective range varies depending on the distance between the drone and the controller, but a typical range is about 300% of the distance between the drone and the controller. As a result, the Drone Buster is a cutting-edge handheld anti-drone solution for countering foreign drone surveillance or interference and protecting critical areas. Unlike traditional portable anti-drone jammers, which rely on humans visually searching for drones, this new small-sized counter-drone technology detects threats easily and is capable of using radio frequency energy to overpower the drone's control frequency, causing it to stop hovering or returning to its operator without the need for human intervention. It can also overtake a drone's GPS, causing it to crash. Because of its mobility, it provides its operators with a high degree of flexibility. By using virtual reality testing, the Marine Corps has devised a method for learning how to deal with real-world threats. They are utilizing advanced technologies to transform tactical methods of operating drone busters with immersive solutions. Using virtual reality to train soldiers has proven to be an efficient way of providing the crew with the ability to experience real-life scenarios right in the training center. This expensive anti-drone testing is worth every dollar spent on keeping the airspace safe. Aside from handheld counter UAV devices, there are numerous devices held in a stationary configuration. They can be mounted on a vehicle or fixed on site. These technologies combined with capabilities of a single end-to-end -end solution by employing a radar and multi-sensory system to detect multiple threats from afar in all weather conditions. One of these technologies employs an electro-optical sensor to lock on the detected target while a video motion detector tracks it. Using machine learning technology and a large library of drone flight paths, the system can assist in classifying the object. They are simple to use, and a single operator can interact with multiple sensors while correlating real-time data from various distributed sensors to provide complete situational awareness on a map. Some of these technologies are managed by a central hub, which allows for real-time monitoring and adjustments as needed. The high-energy laser system is also an effective weapon against surveillance drones. The combat laser weapon combines a series of smaller individual lasers broken down into their component wavelengths into one massively powerful beam of drone blasting light. In most cases, these laser weapons result in the physical thermal destruction of targets during contact or simply neutralizing their threats rather than burning them off. The Marine Corps' laser weapon system, which can be mounted on a vehicle, has a beam length of more than 30 kilowatts. These technologies rely on a large number of modular fiber lasers. They are easily scalable to different levels of power, allowing the laser weapon system to have an infinite amount of firepower. So, lasers are excellent choices because they are difficult for the enemy to detect, hit the target quickly at the speed of light, and have been shown to have a low cost per shot when compared to conventional weapons. Despite the fact that the Marine Corps employs anti-drone technologies, they also use drones to make their mission more convenient. The main crew consists of the sensor operator, who serves as the commander and his assistant, who oversees the weapon and sensor's functions. A multispectral targeting system, a shortwave infrared camera, a laser rangefinder, a laser target illumination system, radar, and an infrared sensor with a color and monochrome day camera are also included in the MQ-9. Its standard weapons are two GBU-12 Paveway-2 laser-guided bombs and four AGM-114 Hellfire laser-guided air-to-ground missiles, but it can be outfitted with other weapon systems. The MQ-9 operates from standard airfields with a clear line of sight to the ground data terminal antenna, allowing for good takeoff and landing visuals. 
It has a wingspan of 20.12 meters, stands 3.8 meters tall, and is 10.97 meters long. It can also include software with automatic takeoff and landing capabilities to make drone deployment more agile during combat. The Northrop Grumman RQ-4 Global Hawk, like the MQ-9, is an unmanned aircraft system, UAS, that provides intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance, ISR capabilities to the U.S. Air Force. It is designed to collect near real-time high-resolution imagery of more than 40,000 square miles of terrain in all conditions, while also assisting air and ground users with the communications relay system and can fly at high altitudes for more than 30 hours. The operator interface, also known as the cockpit, is part of the aircraft's ground segment. The cockpit is a modernized system that allows remote operators to command and control the aircraft as well as monitor its status. This cockpit is extremely adaptable and can be placed almost anywhere while still performing admirably. However, moving this 1,000 pound cockpit requires a high level of expertise because it can be difficult to move without disrupting the operation's flow in general. This $123 million drone is powered by a single Rolls-Royce F-137RR 100 turbofan with 7,600 pounds of thrust and can reach speeds of up to 391 miles per hour. It has a self-defense system that is modular and includes a radar warning receiver, an onboard jamming system, and a towed decoy system. The Vito configuration, which has a wingspan of 116.2 feet and a dihedral angle of 50 degrees, has a low radar and infrared signature and can be improved to carry a larger payload during its flights. It measures 44.4 feet long and 15.2 feet tall, has a gross takeoff weight of 25,600 pounds, and can be controlled from the ground station with a mouse click. UAVs and countermeasures have been widely used in both defensive and offensive mechanisms. This is not surprising given their ability to deploy quickly for extended periods of time and with lethal effect at a lower financial cost and risk to life, making them excellent choices in modern warfare. That's all for today, and see you next time.